Hello everyone, it's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone is doing well today on this Wednesday afternoon. Afternoon, my time. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing fantastic. I'm here to bring you a um, preview slash pre-sale video for my live sale, which will be tomorrow, Thursday, September 21st at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pretty sure no one's done daylight savings yet, right? Because where I'm at, you know, we're one out of, I think it's two places in the United States that doesn't do daylight savings. I think there's only two. I could be wrong. Anyway, um, what else? Oh yeah, so this is a preview slash pre-sale video. Um, anything that is available for pre-sale, I will clearly state as such in this video. Um, and all you have to do is email me. I'll have all that information in the description box and in the title of this video. Um, and if you're new here, hi, welcome. Thanks for clicking. Um, what do I need to tell you? Subscribe, hit the like button or not like button and the little bell, cause that will give you notifications supposedly, um, when I upload, you know, like shop with me and hauls and sales. I don't do a whole lot of other things or sometimes an educational video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cracking myself up. Anyway, if you are new here and you'd like to participate in tomorrow's live sale, I just need you to shoot me an email. All I need is your real name, your YouTube name, your email associated with your PayPal accounts. I only take PayPal at this present moment. I do apologize. Um, the country, city, and zip code in which you reside so I know how to uh, charge for shipping. And that's it. And if you just want to come tomorrow to hang out and say hi, that would be awesome too. Okay. Um, oh gosh. Uh, you know, I feel like I sound like a broken record a lot of times. Oh, it's first pay, first, first come, first pay. Yeah. First come, first pay when it comes to the pre-sale. Um, I cannot hold things until the day of the sale. That defeats the purpose of it being a pre-sale, right? <laughs> Um, you know, I think there's been some misunderstandings in the past, that type of thing. Um, and what else? That's it. I don't know. That's it. Yeah. But I'm going to complain for a minute. Not about anything major, just the mail. I don't understand. Something is going on. I feel like this was two years ago or a year and a half ago. Things are taking, like, I am waiting maybe nine business days for a shipment to come in from like Austin, Texas. Now, if you know where I live, Phoenix, Arizona, that's really not that far if the seller ships it in an appropriate amount of time, it shouldn't take that many business days to get here, even if you're doing ground mail. I don't know what's going on. And I understand like the weather has been crazy, like in Florida, you know, certain areas. I totally get that. But like we're talking like places that like are not that far from me. I mean, seriously. Or it'll say misshipped and like literally someone that lives maybe an hour from me who I buy a lot of my Native American stuff. She lives not even an hour, okay? She lives, it doesn't matter where she lives, but she lives fairly flipping close. It was a misship and it got sent to like, where was it? Oh, oh, it was like Maine. Okay. So for some reason she's here, I'm here. It got shipped to this part of the United States. Like my address says nowhere does it say. Anyway, these kind of things have been happening quite often in the last, I want to say six weeks or so, maybe a little longer. Um, so I'm praying that I get a bunch more shipments in. I'm waiting on, like last week, I think it was 15 shipments I was waiting on and not all of them even came yet. Anyway, okay, I'm going to shut up. So <sighs> it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to show you some things that are available for pre-sale. Um, okay, let's do it. Okay, so this I bought um, for myself and I've never worn it and I bought it maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe, I don't know. And I've never worn it, literally. I was just going through, I was looking for something for my mother. It's a long story. You don't need to know all that, blah, blah, blah. Going through safety deposit box of all things. And this was in there, okay. Don't know why this was in a safety deposit box. Evidently it was a mistake. It was in a lovely blue satin sack. Now granted, yeah, it's not cheap and inexpensive piece, but it's not safety deposit, you know, anyway. So it's this gorgeousness. It is sterling silver and opaline glass. Uh, uncarved. So this is a lot of times you'll see these with the pagodas or like some sort of scene carved into them. This is just plain blank. It's all just about the gorgeousness of this unusual glass. And it is in sterling silver. And it's just, it's spectacular. It's in fantastic condition. I mean, since I've had it last year, year and a half, it's literally been sitting in a box inside of a satin sack. You know? And then whoever I got it from, evidently, I do see a little teeny, teeny ding on the sterling clasp, but that's the clasp at the back. 
Anyway, it's fantastic. Um, and since I've never worn it and it's just literally been sitting around, <laughs> oh, I'm such a schmooze sometimes. Um, I'll put it on, let's see. Um, it has a fixed safety, so it's difficult to give you the exact measurement. It's a smaller size. So I'm gonna say this is probably slightly under a seven inch, seven, no bigger than a seven inch at all. Like you need to be, if you wear a seven inch bracelet, I say this might be too tight on you. So this needs to be a little bit under it. So like six and three quarters and smaller. So this is available, it's gorgeous. And since it has my little sack, it'll come in a beautiful little sack. <laughs> anyway, so that is available for pre-sale. And along the lines of what was in there, which was so weird, I, I must have not been, I don't know what my problem is. I have this gorgeous, which I've yet not worn either, Art Deco, authentic Art Deco, sterling silver, black and clear. It goes down to these beautiful cameos. Now, I think I did show this one, I don't know, five months ago, I don't even know how long ago, I'm not sure. I think I've only shown it once. Um, and then it didn't sell that one sale. And then I was like, oh, I love it. So, you know, I'll just show you what it looks like on a bust. And so I decided to keep it evidently, but um, it's gorgeous. Very different. I'm not used to seeing this type of uh, deco style with the black and white, let alone with the cameos in it. Excuse the dusty. We just got our air duct system cleaned antibacterial this and that and i swear the air quality is worse how could that possibly be spend like i don't even want to tell you how much i had to spend it was insane much more than possibly i should have spent but um you know when you're suffering with whatever i'm suffering with you just do whatever you can and i think people see sucker across my forehead and they're like oh it kills all this and antimicrobial and blah 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 and the mold all this crap and i'm like sure and it's all green company and i'm like oh this is fabulous and yeah okay Anywho, do I sound any better to y'all? I sure don't feel it. <laughs> but this is beauty is available. So this is available for pre -sale. Now, I just quickly washed it. It needs to be, see how pretty those are down low? Up here, they're a little, they're not frosted. They're just a little dirty. They just need to be cleaned. But it's beautiful. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Anyway, so this one is available. Let me put this one back. This one's not. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay, let's do this one. This one is available for pre-sale. I know I'm just doing things available right now because I don't know I am. Okay, so this was mine too. I know, I don't know why I can't. It's because I'm not wearing it and okay. And I know I sold one to my friend who's out there and maybe she's watching this and she was a twinsy, but I'm sorry. Okay, so this is fabulous. This is an Art Deco piece. This is sterling silver. It is a bracelet. It is reversible. So you can wear it with the etching on the front or if you don't want that you can just wear it it's all plain to slick sterling now this is extremely smooth and soft so this feels fantastic on your wrist it won't feel as great and doesn't feel bad obviously you know it's, but it's not as smooth because there's the etching on the other side but it's very versatile great bracelet it is all sterling it is a substantial piece it is an older piece it is a small piece oh boy let me here's my tape measure oh my gosh gosh Kirsten this is like inevitable. I apologize. I don't know where anything is. What's new in my math? Okay, let's see. So this is a shorty. This is six in, oh boy, what are you? You are six and a half inches. Six and a half inches. Okay, so we've got that, which is available. Okay, Whew. my nose. Okay, let me see here. What else? Okay, we have, how about I go to... Now, I did do a, uh, what did I do? A mini haul? I don't know. And, uh, yeah, some of these are like con sort of consignment piece type things. Um, so I have these gorgeous amber and sterling earrings. I like the foliage, the little leaves that hold on to it. I think they're pretty. These are available. And these are, how big are these? I don't know. These are two inch drop. Two inch. Oh, okay, where are we gonna go from there? Let's see. Well, I can show you some things that are not available for pre-sale. Okay, just so you have an idea. Um, uh, well, let's do this. This one is a signed, this is Navajo. This is a signed piece. It is a ring, obviously. This is made by Marcus Gishel, G-I-S-H-A-L. 
and it is signed. So this one is gonna be auction only. There is his signature. I had it this way, maybe I guess it doesn't matter. Um, so this will be available tomorrow. It is a, this is a big ring, look at that, there's a big ring. Um, it has, oh God, the different turquoises, spiny or, uh, that oyster, coral. And I don't, this is, I'll have to look it up. I don't remember what that one is. It's probably, I think it's another type of coral. And it's beautiful, really different, which, you know, if you know me, you know, I like that kind of stuff. So um, what size, just so you know, this is a size eight. So size eight, which way did I have it? I don't know, I'll just put it, which way do you think? I'll just stick it this way, it's okay. Um, another thing that is not available for pre-sale, and of course I don't have any of my notes with me because I am, you know, this is another signed piece. This is Navajo. Uh, I do have all my notes, just not with me. Ah, they're on the phone. That's why they're not with me. Um, anyway, this is fantastic. It is signed, like I said. Uh, handmade sterling silver, gorgeous. This will be auction piece only. All the hand stamping is just fantabulous. If you like this type of stuff, um, obviously, I have a lot of this for this show, but I have more stuff over there that is not Native American. Um, Dene, or however, I don't want to offend anyone, so okay, there's that. Okay. Well, then we got all this beauty stuff here. So not all this. This is not, this is not Navajo. This is just coolness. Sterling silver. I don't know. Uh, we've got petrified wood and then a leaf uh, set in resin, I think is what that is. All sterling on this big thick chain is gorgeous. Really cool. Really cool modern looking piece. Very sculptural. I dig it. I dig it. Um, so that's, those are not though. Oh, these are really cool. Now, these I could pre-sell, but I usually don't pre-sell earrings very often. Not, you know, I don't think that's something people really go for. But these would be, well, I'm willing to do with these. These are uh, bench beads, handmade bench beads. Um, and that's why they're not exact, because they're handmade Navajo. And these are cool because they're textured. Um, a lot of times you'll see necklaces. Well, a lot of times they're very expensive. I haven't really had my hands on. I think once I've had my hands on it. But anyway... Occasionally, I can afford to get the. They're expensive. Bench beads, handmade, like not the, not the machine made ones, but the handmade ones. And you usually will see a seam. They won't be perfect because they're handmade. Anyway, so these are available. They're fabulous. Now they're hollow, so they're not very heavy, but um, there's a little bit of weight to them. Really cool earrings. I really like them. I like the texture, like the fluted. That's what they're called. Am I right? Wait, no. Oh boy, I think they're called fluted bench beads. So I could be incorrect there. Spaced out there. You know, when you take a lot of lectures and classes and talk to a lot of people and go to jewelry studios, like I said before, I can't retain all this knowledge. I wish I wish I was a little bit younger. <laughs> My brain just like absorbed everything. It absorbs it, but it kind of tucks it away in different areas. And yeah, I don't remember it all. Kind of sucks. So little tape recorders are always good to have and taking notes. I've learned that. I've learned that definitely. Okay. Um, this is available for pre-sale. This is gorgeous. This is Blue Moonstone and Sterling Silver. It is a size, oh, what is it? Six and three quarters. It's almost a seven. Beautiful. Look at that Moonstone, Blue Moonstone. Really pretty. Is this in focus? I'm sorry. There we go. Really great piece. So this one is available for pre sale. Nice size ring. Excuse, I got burnt in the oven there. Oh God, I'm this. <laughs> I've never said I was a great chef by any stretch of the imagination, but I do cook almost every night. Um, maybe not something gourmet, but I'm always, uh, sometimes I have my head in like 15 places, you know what I mean? Like thinking about many things, not paying attention. And when you're working with a gas stove, you probably should pay more attention, huh? So I always seem to be like <laughs> burning myself. Oh. Okay, moving on. I know I'm so babbly today. Oh, I am gonna bring this. This is gonna be for, uh, available for auction. I was gonna bring it and Michael, if you don't know Michael, he's my husband. He helps me on the sidelines. Oh no, there's Apple. Does that mean I'm getting packages? Oh, is she gonna be vicious? Okay, if she is, I don't know. 
I might have to shut the door. Anyway, I'll do this quickly. This awesome, I call it origami. It's amber, sterling, silver. Oh gosh, hold on one minute. Let me shut this door. It might be the mail. Oh my gosh. I hope it's the mail. I don't know. It might not be. It could just be someone walking down the street. Um, fabulous bracelet. This will be available at auction. Michael, I was holding on to this because I was like, oh, maybe I'll have a all artisan night or I don't know what I was thinking. Michael's like every week, Kirsten, are you going to show? Look how cool this is. I've never seen this. Maybe you guys have. I have not. It is fantabulous. It's an average size, size seven inch, I think. This will be available tomorrow evening. Okay. Uh, I've got this gorgeousness. Uh, this I thought was Nikki Butler. I can't find, I see a signature half worn off, so I can't guarantee it. Sold to me as Nikki Butler, but I don't know. So I can't, I'm going to have to sell it to you what I paid for it because I really thought it was, and it might be. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's gorgeous. It's sterling silver and amethyst. It is, oh, really pisses me off. Excuse me, it just upsets me. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just a really nice ring. It is a size eight. Beautiful. Look at, do you see at the corners there how there's little triangles? I, don't, I, just, I like looking at those little design elements. Let's see, it's a, another long ring. I know some people don't like long rings. Not all my rings here are long, but so this is available. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that, it's a gorgeous ring. It really is. I mean, granted, I guess you have to like purple, you know, but okay. Um, and then this one is also, oh my goodness, apple for purple. Oh, I apologize, ignore her. I really don't wanna to have to stop and start because then I have to edit and I don't want to. So this one will be available for pre-sale if well, it's sterling silver and uh, coral. Now this is not Native American, this is Southwest. Okay, they call it Southwest style. Um, this is a size seven. And I've had similar ones and I love these. I keep buying them from the silver because they feel amazing on and the quality is really nice. Oh, it feels really nice on. It's like really, I don't know, smooth as butter. And it is a signed piece. It's just not Navajo. Oh, I got this one from Janda Panda Treasures. Isn't that sweet? Anyway. Yeah, I really like this. So this one is available if someone is interested. I didn't want to have like nothing available because it's not, you know, that kind of sucks. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I have, oh, okay, this is available. This is a vintage, uh, I love this piece. This is a sterling silver bracelet. Look how pretty. Oh, I do love this. Like, you know me, you guys. Like, and I don't care. You don't have to wear all natives with native. Like, look how great this would look with this kind of stuff. Like, why, why wouldn't you? Why couldn't you? You absolutely can and should. And I do, you know? I think it looks great. So I, th I like mixing and matching styles. Some people might be opposed to it. I most certainly am not. If you love it, who cares, right? I mean, that's all that matters. Okay, so we got that, that, that. Um, oh boy, what else? Um, I have, ooh, did I, I showed this. This is Sajin. This is Amber and Garnet and Sterling Silver. Just put it on a chain. And this does have the original card. So if you were to gift it or something, you know, I don't know. Um, but, uh, and this is a pin pendant or like a lot of sage and pendants are, unless they're fixated to the, the necklace or whatever. Really pretty, really, really nice. I like this a lot. It's not so huge and overwhelming, but it has a nice presence to it. It has a nice big bail, so you can put it on a different type, you can put it on torque. It is a two inch pendant. So this is available. A little different, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay, what else? Um, oh. Oh my goodness, these, I think I only showed one last week during the sale, and it didn't sell, and I was like, what, what, what? So, and I didn't show this during the sale, because the other one didn't sell, so I was like, ah. So anyway, I'm showing this again. This is Sterling Silver Deco Gorgeousness with the clear and green rhinestones. It is fabulous. Look at that. And it has, it just, so, no, I can't see over the camera, so it goes snip, snap, really nice. Fantastic. So this is available. Um, if this one doesn't sell, I think I'll keep this one because it's really small. And this one didn't sell. Um, this one, I will lower the price because I did show it and didn't sell. And this one's just, this is a seven inch. This is sterling silver. This is diamond bar um, buckle bracelet. So I'll lower the price a little bit on this guy. Gorgeous. Needs a little cleaning. As you can see, someone clean silver polished it. And so like the silver polish is in there. Um, that was not me. 
That's how it came to me. Anyway, fabulous piece. And I'm asking lower than I see everywhere, so I guess it just has to be the bad person. Huh? So if you are interested, just email me, and I will uh, lower the price from last week. Um, and then this one I didn't show last week. I mean, I think I showed it in the preview, but I didn't. Yes, yeah, so this one is available. And then if it doesn't sell, that one goes in my box because it's beautiful. Um, let me see here. Oh, these are fabulous. These are earrings. I could chew these for pre-sale. Look at these. Ready? <gasps> Look at these gorgeous. Sterling silver and mother of pearl hinged. They are signed. And you can see how it's constructed, which I love seeing that on the side. These have real nice, secure backs. Really, really pretty. A little heavy. There's a lot of silver. They look at all that silver. Beautiful. So those are available. Um, 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 okay. Now, I think I showed this in a video, too. See, this is why it's hard for me to do haul videos, because I don't know. I don't know. It's just wasn't okay. So these are amazing. These are, they look all handmade to me. These are, which way do they go? This way. Look at these earrings. These are sterling silver. These are clip-ons. Clip-ons. And they look amazing on. I know it's weird. It's hard to picture it. They really do. I tried to be on camera, and I hated it and flipped out and erased the video, so... That didn't work out for me. But they frame your face really sweetly and they stay on nicely. They're all, they're a little heavy because they are sterling. But like I said, they are clips. So you don't have to worry about it ripping through your ear hole. And look, you can see the sand casting, which is amazing. I love when they leave that on the back so you can see how it's actually constructed. Um, so this was probably made from wax, carved wax. That's normally how it's made, not always. Um, and they will do it in a sand mold. And so when they pour the molten sterling, it melts away. So you have the negative, it fills it in. It's really, well, it's like a lost wax process. Anyway, or sand wax or sand cast, it depends. Anyway, they're unsigned beauties. They are sterling, they are large, they're gorgeous. These are available. Look at that detail, really fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and, and, um, okay, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm showing right now. I'm just gonna, so, I feel bad showing stuff that I don't want to pre sell, but I will. So, this will be for tomorrow evening. This is not available for pre sale. This is really spectacular. Sterling silver is a sign. Um, it is, it's actually etched in there, the signature, which is hard to show you. It says sterling, and then there's an etching in there. Tomorrow, I'll show it better i guess uh sterling silver and coral this is a big mama jama look at that gorgeousness sawtooth all the sawtooths are present all the stones are really secure it is a larger size i know which is good because when i find these things that well god i don't know it says it's a larger size this one's an eight too but i think this is larger than eight because it has a lot of room in here anyway i'd say it's more like an eight and a half honestly but when I find them in larger sizes, it's I'm safe that I'm not going to keep them myself. Because that is the thing. This is a signed piece. This is an old, old. This is, okay, so this one is uh, way old. Like, I, I'm i going to say, okay, this one was dated. Guys and gals, you can talk as much shit, excuse my language, as you want to about me. But this one is from the 30s, 1930s Navajo, okay? It is a very old piece. It is spectacular. All handmade, which means it is not going to be perfect. These are all hand stamped. These are made just like this one. This one's even older, okay? This one is made from old coins because that's how they got their silver from trade, okay? Really, anyway, really amazing piece. Um, I was, yeah, I had to be very fortunate that I was allowed to, you know, when they're not made for the public use, when they're made for their own families and friends and that kind of thing. It stayed within the tribe. So, um, yeah, so that's why this is not perfect. This was not made for public con consumers, I guess is what it would be. Anyway, it's fabulous. This will be here tomorrow night. Amazing piece. Uh, and then look at this little one. This one can be available for pre -sale. I love this. This has to be a small wristed person. This is beautiful. This is Navajo as well with a tiny little turquoise. Now I have a very little wrist and so I love it. Um, I like little ones. Look at that, look how cute they look together. See that? Oh my God, so sweet. So this one is definitely a smaller wrist bracelet um, and it does have a little bit of the stamping on either side, it's really sweet. So um, I don't think it is. No, it is not marked with an artist or anything. It's an older piece, really sweet. So if anyone is interested in this lovely, let me know, it's available. 
Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. I wanna go see what all the mail. Maybe there's lots of goodies for tomorrow. I do have stuff that isn't Navajo. Like I said, um, I can, you know, well, you'll see it tomorrow. I have some Tasco. I have some vintage. Um, I don't have a lot of costume jewelry unless some of my packages just came in. Um, but you know, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Red V Sale. This is one of the more random videos of mine. Okay, I'm sorry, I apologize. If you see anything that you're interested in, please let me know, I have all that information below. Mwah. Have a fantastic day. I hope to see everyone tomorrow, which is Thursday. What's the date tomorrow? It is uh, September 21st, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. Mwah. Have a brilliant day. Give you hugs and lots of love. Okay, bye. Oh, and this is available too, just in case. It's a signed novel. Okay, bye.